nothing special. Just that sun obscured by the uh, fog here is really unsettling, but cool. Hey, good morning, Instagram. I have a feeling today is going to be another hot day in Nanjing. We're going to head to Sun Yat-sen's National Mausoleum. Interestingly enough, he is a Christian leader in the early 20th century here and pretty much the most celebrated leader in the history of China and is respected both in China and Taiwan, which is rare. So stay tuned. So of course the cable car to the top of the mountain would be shut down right now. I'm assuming because it's like a slow season. Well, the good thing is this mountain isn't really a mountain as we know them in Seattle. It's more like a very, very tall hill. So I hear it's a 90 minute walk to the top. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy some scenery. So I stand corrected. I've been walking up this vertical path, I don't know, for like 45 minutes. And what's horrible is there's no hope. There's no end. I just see more stairs and more trees and more people. But that's okay, I'm told it's near. We're almost there. So after an arduous hour and a half walk, I finally made it to the top looking to find the much heralded mausoleum of Sun Yat-sen and I found KFC, classic China, classic, you troll. I knew I'd made it when I heard this music. We got a pizza cooking vending machine here. I might have to try that on the way back. And I believe this is the beginning of the mausoleum. It's gonna get epic from here, guys, hang tight. Well, I made it to the Great Wall. No, not a great wall. Oh, look, 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 it's Big Brother. Hey, what's up? What's going on? So now actually I made it to the top of a mountain, um, but on top of this mountain, there's all kinds of famous landmarks. And the one I was shooting for, I thought I could walk across too, but it seems I cannot. So uh, the view here isn't even spectacular because of all the uh, fog. So I'm at the highest point in Nanjing. And I mean, you can see some of the city, some of the outskirts of the city. Um, the lake and all the big city is actually over there, but you just can't see it, it's too gray. So, uh, you know, I have a friend up here, that's cool. And uh, see the wall again. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna walk down the mountain and try to rent a car to go where I originally planned to go, which is Sun Yat-sen's mausoleum. I see you. So, instead of retreating and going back to the hotel, I found a freelance driver. We had to negotiate from 80 down to 40 which is essentially $5 for a 20 minute cab ride to where I wanted to be originally. So language helps sometimes. So that was an awesome experience. Uh, after negotiating and feeling like I won, the guy tricked me and took me to another spot and said, oh, I can't take you all the way there. You have to pay to go into the temple grounds and you have to walk two hours. And I said, well, shouldn't you have told me that earlier considering I told you very clearly where I wanted to go? And then he got defensive and said, oh, well, just give me half of what we agreed on. And I basically lost my shit and made a scene, but gave him uh, a quarter of what we had discussed. But that's okay. God's got a plan. I'm going to walk to the subway. And I just saw these cool construction guys making these, uh, I don't know, I guess reindeer sculptures out of grass. That's pretty cool, right? It's got to be worth something here. Don't get to see that every day. And off to the subway I go. Could be. I'm looking for some vittles, and I think I found a mall with all kinds of vittles, but we'll have to see. Okay, thanks to an awesome friend, I made it to a super local place in the basement of a nearby mall. We can get all kinds of Nanjing, um, you know, particular foods here. So I have a not a hot, but a numbingly hot wonton kind of soup and spicy chili oil. My tongue is tingly already. And then we have some type of jelly dish. Uh, not my first choice, but it came as a recommendation from a friend, so let's see how she goes. So that's super good. That's surprisingly good. It's like a sweet jelly derived from beans with some like uh, pieces of dried meat, some peppers, sesame seeds. It's surprisingly tasty. Then we have bullfrog with hot oil sauce. Super good, bullfrog tastes just like chicken.